everyone. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Alright, well, hey everyone. Um, well, I'm so happy to say that this is the end of my second month on Accutane, and I'm so excited because look at the results. Like, literally. Um, before I think the last time I did, I think for my one month, it was like red. My cheeks were so red, my chin was so red, my forehead was so red and stuff. But my skin was clear, but it was like, it was like red. But now it's like the redness is going down. So amazing. And um, I just have like a lot of scars. So all those little marks. Those are all scars. My skin is completely clear, it's smooth and stuff. So all that's left is like a lot of scarring and stuff like that. Um, that hopefully when I'm done with Accutane, I will need to like I don't I don't know do something about those like get some vitamin C or vitamin E on my face. I don't know something like that to kind of clear out the scars. Um, there's also like that derma roller. I think that's what it's called. I'm not sure, but it's a little roller thing. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is like completely like, I don't know what's wrong with it. But, um, yeah, if you saw my last video, I had some complications, um, during my one month and it was my liver enzymes. So, um, apparently that my liver was really, really inflamed and I kind of had to postpone the treatment. If my liver enzymes didn't get back to normal, then that's it for me. I wasn't able to take Accutane. You know, I wouldn't be able to take it. And I was really, really scared. So I did a lot of research online to kind of see, like, what things I can take or what can I eat, what type of diet can I go on to kind of get my liver enzymes back to normal. Um, and I found something that really, really helped me, and I've been taking that ever since then, and my liver enzymes have been, like, perfect, like, they're not high, they're at a normal level, so I was really, really excited to find something that worked, and I'll sh share with that you guys, share with them, I'll share that with you guys in just a minute, but first off, if you don't know what I'm talking about, um, pretty much when you have an inflamed liver, what it says here, what I researched is that your liver cells tend to leak higher um, amounts of certain chemicals. So when those chemicals, and those are released into your bloodstream, so that's why when you get your blood test, they're able to detect whether you have an inflamed or damaged liver. So that's what happened to me. And, um... It comes in the form of two things, ALT and AST, and those things are called alanine transaminase and aspartate transaminase, trans transaminase, something like that. But those two things that you have to look out for if you can check your blood tests online, because I can't because I'm, I'm part of the Kaiser Permanent has um has it online so I'm able to see my test results online so those two I keep track of as well as my cholesterol because when you're on Accutane your cholesterol tends to go up as well as your bad cholesterol your bad cholesterol tends to go up and your good cholesterol tends to go down so those two things you really have to look those actually four things that you have to look out for um, bad cholesterol, good cholesterol, as well as your two different types of liver enzymes. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much a little, um, class for you guys. <laughs> um, some knowledge I'm throwing out there for you guys. Um, I swear I should never be like a teacher or something because I can never explain myself that good. So if you have no idea what I'm talking about, please let me know. Or and it's so easy to like research online. You just look up what's liver enzymes, um, how how liver enzymes affect, you know, your health and stuff like that. So go ahead, check those out. There's a lot of research on that. 
but um, let me t now I'm gonna get to what product I use so I'm pretty sure that's something you guys are waiting for <laughs> so this is what I used milk thistle milk thistle is really good for supporting your liver as well as restoring back what's already been damaged so a lot of people use it if they have liver damage from alcohol they tend to use this one um, because you definitely don't want a liver transplant especially at my age like who wants a liver transplant at my age like I'm 23 so it's pretty crazy um, yeah so it helps fight cell damaging free radicals so it has a lot of antioxidants what I also would recommend is drinking green tea like pure like green tea with no caffeine in it and no sugar try to avoid sugar as much as possible what I found helpful is exercise honestly you guys, you have to exercise while you're on Accutane to kind of keep your health and keep your energy going because you do get tired on this medication. And I haven't gotten any serious side effects like depression or something like that. It's more like joint pain, like muscle soreness, nosebleeds. I had some ear popping for a second, but that was because my nose was stuffy. That's why, so I got some saline like spray for my nose and um, other than itchy scalp I had um, a lot of flaginess right now but um, what I've been using is the Paul Mitchell um, tea tree scalp and hair treatment so that one I would definitely recommend as well as the Dove dry oil because your hair starts to get really really brittle and dry so I would recommend that too um, other than that I don't think I've been using, I have a video of the products I use, so definitely go check that out because I have a lot of things for like dry skin and um, what's been helping me the most is um, Cetaphil for my entire body as well as Aveeno for dry skin for the 24 hours one. Those two, Cetaphil and Aveeno, have been amazing for my whole body. For my face, I'm still trying to look for like a sunscreen moisturizer combo I still haven't fi found the right one I mostly use them separately like I use a separate sunscreen and I use my uh, first aid beauty um, intense intense moisture cream I think that's what it's called but it's the first aid beauty it's like the popular like moisturizer for your skin so that's the one I've been using and um I do have two other things that I use. Um, like I, like I said that I experienced joint pain as well as like muscle pain. Something that's really helped me is fish oil. This is Omega Three Wild Alaskan Salmon Oil. It's hundred percent natural. It's good for your heart. Good for your cholesterol. Um, this has really helped me kind of just lubricating, you know, the joint areas and stuff like that. So I wouldn't have that much pain because. Oh, there was one day when my whole body was aching. I'm just like, oh, like what is going on? I'm like my like right here, my chest. I was having pain. I'm like, I, if I would lay down like on like on my chest, like I wouldn't be able to get up without like screaming. Like <laughs> it was painful, but it wasn't painful to the point where I was just like, I can't get up. But it was just. Pain. You, 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 there was pain <laughs> there was pain another thing that I would recommend if you are exercising like me definitely get some calcium um, Accutane does lower your magnesium level something about being I'm not sure why but um, definitely get the one that has calcium, magnesium, and zinc zinc is really good at repairing cell damages so whatever while Accutane is curing your, your um, all the pimples and stuff, um, zinc can help in diminishing your scars, um, as well as repairing all the damages you've done your skin prior to Accutane. So this is really good as well. Or if you don't want those, you can just get calcium, which is really good for your joints because you, while on Accutane, you will hear a lot of like popping and crackling and stuff like that, and um, 
well, your joints are taking a big hit. Like, don't try to overdo it when it comes to exercise. Like, maybe go for, like, a 20-minute, 10-minute jog, and then do some core work, like, light exercises. Don't, like, go and run a train for a marathon or something like that, because you're going to put a lot of pressure, a lot of stress to your joints, and if you're not really taking care of them, you can do some, you know, future damage to them, especially when you're off Accutane. There's a lot of people that say that they have joint problems, they have this, they have that, and that's because a lot of them didn't really get um, that good of a nutrition in, so that's pretty much why. But that's pretty much it. Um, if you guys have any other questions, just let me know. Alright? Nice talking to you guys. Bye!